Yeah, so I got my little um, CB radio here, and I wanted to prove the performance of it. I was thinking about getting a larger antenna to mount on the vehicle, but then I says, you know, I'll probably have it on this vehicle, an antenna, which is the old El Camino, and probably on that little Suzuki right there. So I says, you know, and then maybe I want to carry it around, right? So what I did was. I just got a big antenna for it. It's a 24 inch antenna. Now this antenna probably cost just, well it cost just about as much as the little cheap CB rate um, handheld here. But um, supposedly it's supposed to give you about double the range. We got it from CB World. Um, you know I just did some research on it. I know this for what this costs. This is only like a 30 something dollar uh, CB radio. It's a um, transceiver. It and you know they only put out four watts. I mean that's per the FCC, and I know that um, really the way to get the distance is the antenna. So if you got this big whipping antenna, probably 60 feet up in the air, even this little thing will really get you some distance. But putting this on here should get you about double the distance. So this is a seven-inch antenna. You can see that's that's where she is, right? I don't think I'm. You know, I'm, I'm probably not going to get nothing in this area because it's, uh, you know, I'm in, uh, I'm not near the highway. That's a problem. So, but I was looking at the distances that you get with that little seven-inch antenna. It, it's short. It's, it's very, it's very, very minute. It's like if you're around, you're going around a corner or something like that. I don't know what is it, a couple hundred feet if you're lucky, you know. Probably not coming in though, because I'm not near a highway. But this does get you about double the distance, and uh, that's one of the problems. You know, some people from all the reports I got looking at this, just slapping this antenna on here, which you can see is a hell of a lot longer. And can you use it in the car? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it might be getting away. I guess when you got this thing here, if you had the top off of it and you're using it, it wouldn't make a damn difference at all. Uh, but then the thing is, if you're walking around and you install a really good quality antenna and tune it on your Jeep or, or you know, Suzuki Samurai or your, uh, your, your pickup truck or El Camino or your car, if you install a really good antenna on there, it's only there. It's only in that one spot. At least I could walk around with this damn thing, which is kind of good. Um, the other thing I got going for this, I got the Panasonic antelope batteries coming for it, which are low self-discharge. And um, if this has the rechargeable batteries in it right now, and it's got uh, the cigarette lighter plug, <coughs> which will recharge the batteries in it, but I want those low self-discharge batteries because they will recharge and um, they're on order. They're going to be in here pretty soon. But they'll hold 70% of their charge if they're just sitting around for five years. So that's another thing. Because, you know, sometimes this is basically like CB radio is like old tech. But then, and I, I guess a lot of people don't use a CB radio that much if they're hiking on a trail. But then... I don't know. It's a, it's a mixed bag. It depends on what people do in their area. Um, but they're still used. They're still used. And this is not a big investment. That's the point. But you probably... To me, this whip antenna like this, from what I've heard, this will extend the range of this little this little uh, CB held, handheld transfever double. Easy. Easy. It's 24 inches. Um... I don't see where you tune this or nothing, so it just goes on there. I don't think it needs to be tuned. That's just how it is as far as I know. <laughs> I don't know if there's any way to tune it, man. I don't see nothing. So, it's just going on there. I know this is the antenna that came with it. You don't tune that. That's just what it is. But this little antenna, you don't get hardly any range out of this bad boy. That's the thing. Like all the CB radios, they put out the same per FCC. Four watts. So, um, you know, the antenna is the thing doing the job. So, for 
Uh, mostly, mostly this price was shipping. I think it was like twenty-three dollars and ten bucks for shipping or some garbage like that. But you know, I think it's well worth it. And you know what I do too on these connectors here? I spray a little WD-40, um, even though they don't get rusty or nothing. I found that a coat of WD-40 seems to make a better contact on wherever you're making electrical contact. And um, you know, I figured, what the hell, I'll just do that. But uh, I think this this bad boy, I, I'm probably going to play around a little bit on the highway or some shit and see how it works. <laughs> but it does, uh, ain't going to pick up nothing around here, man. Yeah. But as I said, everybody that used this said they got double the range by putting that, that puppy on there. So... That's a cheapie, man. And like I said, the other side, the other advantage of using this big long whip antenna is uh, you don't need to have, um, you know, different antennas on your vehicle and tune it. You just put this damn thing on there and you're set. Plus, you can get out of the vehicle and walk around or some garbage, you know. That's another advantage. But when I get these uh, Panasonic antelope low discharge low self-discharge rechargeable batteries this thing's probably gonna really have um, a good life because this has the uh, you know one thing to extend the battery life is the high low you know there's the high low on it this has the external speaker the mic you know to me pfft, I don't plan to use this damn thing but if I need it I want it to work semi good and that's the cheapest way to make it semi good right there just add that antenna so anyway quick point and um, hopefully you got something out of this because uh, I'm an amateur amateur on this too okay but I'm looking for keep things around that could be useful for me possibly in the future and um, there are parts of the country that you travel it could be up upstate New York it could be up in Tennessee um, in the mountains there's no cell phone service so you don't want to have you want to have as much range as possible without making a big investment and if you're using a different car like if I use that blue car and I'm driving somewhere I can still take this I don't need to put a base antenna on that car this car this car and this car right just put that on there that's that was one of my main objectives right there and I might be getting a CJ5 Jeep one of these days too. So, <laughs> be another thing.